And now to Norman, where a business owner is dealing with a shopping cart saga. He says more than 100 of them were just left near his shop recently. News 4's Taylor Mitchell tells us where they came from and what city leaders are doing about it. The shopping carts are said to belong to nearby stores like this Walmart. They were left at a homeless encampment not far from here, and a nearby business owner says he's tired of seeing the carts pile up in front of his shop. I had several customers comment on it. Um, it's not a good look for the business. Well, it appears the people who go to the homeless encampment will leave their carts up top like you see here. There's also another one hidden behind this electric box, and then they will use this trail to get to the camp. So Dakota Sedonin, owner of Sooner Auto Service, took matters into his own hands. He says he collected nearly 140 carts from Walmart, Aldi, and Big Lots. All of them were found around his shop during an 8 to 10 month period. I started calling these companies, say, hey, I got your carts for me, please come get them. I didn't get any calls back. So he lined them up on the sidewalk in front of his business. Finally, about a month later, he says someone loaded them up and took them away. The mayor actually came down had a conversation with me about it and uh, asked what we can do. And I was like, I just want the rid of the shopping carts, really. You know, I'll help as any way I can. Norman city leaders say they've partnered with businesses to come up with a solution. They tell News 4, quote, as possible, staff will proactively seek and transport unattended carts to the city's transfer station so responsible retail businesses can come claim their inventory. We noticed several shopping carts in the area Tuesday, but nothing like it was. It definitely hasn't been too big of a problem since. In Norman, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. And we reached out to all three stores mentioned in Taylor's story. Only Walmart has responded so far. A spokesperson said in part, we are happy to work with the city and other community partners to recover our property as quickly as possible. You can read the full statement at KFOR.com.